Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. I am a new YouTube channel. I am very excited about this new journey I am partaking on. I do tarot and oracle readings. The messages that I put forth in my readings will not resonate with any with everyone, but I do ask that you take what does resonate and leave the rest. I hope that these messages can provide guidance and enlightenment to those who they resonate with. So let's jump right into the reading. I will be doing the air signs, which are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So let's see what messages Spirit has for the air signs. Spirit messages for the air signs. What energy is the air signs carrying? What other energies? Spirit, what messages do you have for them? Energies for the air signs. Messages for the air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. So this is the first card. It says, my capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I am lost. So yes, you are tuning into the energy of love, the energy of love from the spirit. And by you tuning into that energy, you are able to deal with situations from a positive perspective. You do not anger easily. And when you do become angry, you do not hold on to things. You are able to release. And you set clear boundaries for yourself. So if there's something that you don't agree with, you're able to speak up about it, but in a loving way, in a way not to offend others. And you know how to tune into the power of spirit when you feel lost, when you feel defeated. And by doing that, spirit pours into you. And is able to give you the strength you need to endure any situation that you're facing. So let's pull some more cards. What other messages you have, Spirit, for the air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, storm warning. So some of you are going through a difficult situation or you have just come out of a difficult situation. With this storm warning card, if you look at a tornado, it tears up everything in its path when you think about a tornado. And that is what happened with some of you. It's like you were living your life and then all of a sudden something happened and it changed everything. That's what a tornado does. It changes everything. The only thing left is the foundation sometimes. And for some of you, that is what was left. You still had your foundation, but everything around you fell apart. You weren't prepared for this change. 
For some of you, it came unexpectedly. And it really caused a lot of chaos, a lot of pain, a lot of torment in your life. But spirit, God, never left your side. And you were able to endure this situation. You were able to make it through. Some more messages. Spirit for the air signs. Journey. So this chaos, this destruction set some of you on a new path, a new journey. And you know, sometimes to embark on a new journey, the old things have to be destroyed. They have to be done away with. And I feel like that is what God, that is what spirit allowed for the old things to be torn down, for old connections to be torn apart in order for you to partake on this new journey, on this new path. Spirit says getting rid of the old, you have to get rid of the old in order to, in order to embrace the new. And right now you're on a new path. You're on a new journey. You don't know where it's going to take you. But you do know that wherever it leads, spirit will be there with you. You're going to be blessed on this new journey, on this new path that you're taking. This is a new beginning for you. And things had to be torn apart. So that you will have the courage to begin this new path. Because for some of you, you like to stay around the familiar. You don't like change. But spirit allowed the situation to happen because it was time for you to accept change. It was time for you to go in a new direction. So let's get some more messages. Okay, so for some of you, this new change is going to bring in an opportunity. You are going to meet someone who is going to open up a door for you to walk through and step right into this new opportunity, this new blessing that Spirit has for you. You're going to meet a woman and she is going to present you with a new opportunity. And for some of you, this opportunity is going to change your life. This opportunity is going to open up doors. This is going to take you on a new path. This woman is very powerful. She knows a lot of people. She's able to pull a lot of strings. God is going to give you favor with this woman. Spirit says blessings. You're going to be so blessed. Spirit is going to pour out so many blessings for you. You are going to have favor. In this situation, with this woman you're going to encounter, if you have not already encountered her, favor. For others of you, this new opportunity is going to bring in romance, caring connections, a relationship that is truly balanced, someone who cares about you, who loves you for you, someone who is able to put in the same energy you put in. A relationship where there's equal give and take. Someone who is supportive.
Spirit says some of you had to walk away from an old connection that wasn't serving you. And you knew that it wasn't serving you, but you stayed because it was familiar. But spirit allowed for the connection to collapse in order for you to take this journey so that you can meet the person of your dreams, so that you can finally have a relationship that is stable, a relationship that is going to make you happy. Spirit says, don't settle. Don't settle. There's more out there for you. Don't settle. Spirit wants to gift you with something that is beautiful. Let's clarify the cards. This new opportunity for some of you, it, it's amazing. It's going to be amazing. Like if if you work, you know, in a company and let's say you're new and normally they let new people sit in cubicles, but you're going to have so much favor with this woman that you're going to be in a corner office. You're going to be in a corner office. That's how much favor you're going to have. You are going to be blessed. Six of Wands. Walking away. She's leaving. She's going on this new journey. She may be sad. And it's difficult. It's raining. The storm is raging. But she's still moving forward. Even though it's difficult. Even though it's in a difficult situation. She's in a difficult setting. She's still moving forward. She's not letting nothing or no one stop her. She knows it's time to go. It's time to leave. And that is why storms come in our lives. Because there's a need for change. There's a need for something to be disrupted. So that we can get to the next level in life. Look. Look at her. She's in the rain. Look at the ocean. Look at the birds pulling her to shore. Even though she had to walk away, she's still in safety. She's safe. God says you're safe in my arms. She's on her way to safety. For some of you, this connection was very violent. There could have been domestic violence involved. Verbally, physically, maybe both. But yeah, it was time for you to leave out of this toxic connection. And to be pulled to shore. Where you can walk on stable ground. And walk onto your new path. Spirit says healing. Some of you need to heal. There's a lot of stuff that you've been through in the past. There's a reason why you were even in this toxic connection. And a lot of that has to do with your upbringing for some of you. Not knowing your self-worth. Not knowing your worth. But it's time to let go and be free. Clarify journey.
Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Whatever you have planted is going to prosper. Whatever the seeds you have planted, they're going to prosper. I feel like this is for the group of you where there's a new opportunity coming in. The seeds that you have planted, they're going to prosper. And then we have the Ace of Cups. I heard healing. For those of you who have left a connection, there's going to be immense healing, immense blessings. Like I said, Spirit is going to bless you with a new connection, with a divine counterpart. Spirit is going to pour out healing and blessings over your life into your spirit. Spirit says heart chakra. Maybe some of you need to do some meditations, some heart, ch heart chakra meditations. Because there is a need for you to heal, to heal from the past, to heal from the disappointment, for some of you to heal from the abuse. But you do have love coming in. Clarify woman holding a coin. Four of Swords. For those of you who have an opportunity coming in, do not overthink. Rest. Rest in knowing that spirit, that God is in control. Rest. There's a need for you to rest. Because the blessing is yours. It's all in the right timing, in divine timing. So don't overthink. Don't become anxious. Just rest and go with the flow of life. And when you least expect it, this opportunity is going to come in. Spirit, clarify caring connections. Spirit says you are free. You are free. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. This is going to be a very abundant connection. The Ten Completion. You are going to be happy. You are going to have wish fulfillment in this relationship. Like I said, abundance. This is really going to be a balanced and beautiful connection. Spirit says, trust. There's a need for you to trust. Spirit says, trust me. Trust in God. Trust in spirit. That whatever you're going through right now or whatever you have just came out of, it was for your highest good. It's to bring you into completion, into wish fulfillment. You had to go through the rain in order to get to the sun. I'm going to pull one more card from the Guardian Angel Oracle. Spirit says trouble don't last always. The season is changing for you. And you're going to see, you're going to be so happy. You're going to be so abundant. Spirit says, there's so much that I have in store for you. Believe. Believe there's so much I have in store for you. Forgiveness. 
It says holding on to a past hurt is preventing you from moving forward and achieving your heart's desires. Let it go. Forgiveness does not mean that you condone another's actions. It simply means that you are no longer willing to be a perpetual victim to a particular person or event. Blame is a waste of your precious energy. Bless and surrender the past, for in doing so, you will reclaim the joy of life. Yes, like I said, for some of you, you need to heal from the past. You need to forgive those who have hurt you so that you can get to this Ten of Pentacles. It's time for you to let go. It's time for you to be in this energy of love. Forgiveness is for you. It's not for the other person. It's for you to let go and release so that you can move on and receive the blessings that are waiting on you. So let go, release. Your blessings are waiting. So I hope that these messages resonated with someone. You can leave a comment in the comment section. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.